Good morning, guys. Another week. I have work today. I'm going to wash dishes. I'm washing dishes really early, which is funny. Um, and then I am going to the basketball tonight with Austin. We are going to watch Melbourne United play, which should be fun. Uh, get to go up to Melbourne, which will um, be elite. But Dad just called me. I've got to be at 10 minutes before I have to leave for work. And he just said the Melbourne Footy Club uh, first and second year players are training down at Spring Creek Reserve in Torquay. So I'm going to swing past and see if they actually are there. And then I will go to work. So the D's first and second year players were here last week um, training down at Torquay. And Dad said that they were here today, but he's wrong. It's just the bloody pies. Bucks is over there. I think it's their first and second year players, I'm assuming. I can see Jaden Stevenson. I can see the Brown brothers. So yeah. Torquay, the place where AFL young kids get to do a bit of pre-season. Just filmed the AFL theme songs remix to the album advertisement. Um, yeah, I, it's very silly. I just I took one of those ads you see and they're like, but wait, there's more. Get Johnny Cash and, and it shows like heaps of artists and um, it's like a compiled, compilated CD type ad. I tried to do one of those for AFL remixes too, but we'll see how that turns out. I think that'll be a, one of the sillier videos of, um, I've done, but I finished work, I finished filming, and now Austin Cookson will swing past soon and we're gonna go to the NBL. Christmas commence, iPads, GoPros, GHD. Is that for a vlog? Kate McDonald vlogs? Please subscribe. Did she get a job she It's not about how big the boat is, it's about where the boat is docked. Freedom, freedom, I can't lose. Freedom, I can't lose. Nathan, you're in the house. Where are you? Go Melbourne. Hey. How's the atmosphere? Hey, go Melbourne. Hey. Here we are at halftime, Cookson, and I really feel like you know what I've done. CG's feeling it. Got CG's to, feeling it. They've got to shift the footy more. They've got to. Look, I've got no idea what I'm Bernie saying. Bernie Vince to. Uh, Who else plays? Slapjack to the back of the pack. Jack. <laughs> oh, what a burger! Oh! Oh! oh. Is it that's not in the middle? Oh, three or four start to get done. Here comes Cookson. filmed the uh, inboxing girls girls advice video with Georgia and Mitchell um, and then I've been editing that all night and also uh, today I've got a pretty pretty chock-a-block sort of day for you so I'm gonna be editing the girls advice video getting that up by tonight I'm also going to work in the afternoon I also might have indoor soccer later on and then to top it all off, I'm going to the Star Wars, um, I was going to say premiere, but that's just not the case. I'm going to the Star Wars midnight screening. Far out, I get distracted. I've, <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of hours to get the video done, and it's close to being finished, but instead of like getting it done now and having an hour and a half early before work or something, I'd rather just <laughs> wander around and um, you know really rush before work to get it up, because I'm an idiot.
<laughs> do not watch that shit. Exclusive thoughts that from Austin Cooks and the movie critics. Possibly. Oh, I've seen some bad movies. That was possibly the worst movie I've ever seen in my whole life. Why? It just didn't make, make any sense. <laughs> just the wrong shit people died. I don't know. I wasn't the biggest Star Wars fan in the first place. And they make that shit. Yeah, should have ended about <laughs> six times. I'm trying not to be negative here, but that was the worst thing I've ever seen. Pull you down, live la vida loca. So now I've just got home from the movie, and now I'm going to try and film a quick review so I can hopefully get that up and um, be one of the first people in the world to have reviewed the Star Wars movie by getting that up in the morning. So it's 4.30 in the morning. I just edited the Star Wars video, and it's going to go up very soon. My eyes are tired. I am tired. Um, but that means my Thursday video is technically done. So then I've got all of tomorrow free. I'm going to the Kiss Chrissy whole staff party. Um, the karaoke was just the street team, so I'll bring you along with me for that. But um, yeah, bedtime looks very delicious, Dennis. Morning. I just uploaded my video on YouTube. Yep. And now I'm gonna go to bed. You're all gonna go to work. I don't have work, I've got the breakup. Cause it's been really hot recently, dad starts work earlier than usual. Um, so he usually starts at seven, gets up around five cause he likes to get up early. But um, recently he's been getting up at like, yeah, 4.30. And um, yeah, so I just finished my video and was getting ready to go to bed and he's just got up for work. So that's pretty funny. But I'm buggered. I'm going to sleep and then bring on Melbs tomorrow. Alright guys, at the train station again. I forgot how early I actually had to get up to come to Melbourne. Um, and I sort of forgot how long it would take to get me to Melbourne. And I sort of forgot how early the party, the Christmas party starts. So with all that said, I've got to the train station with two minutes to go. Like I'm on a 45 minute earlier train and I got here with two minutes to go, so that was a bit intense, but we'll be on our way soon and I'll get to see C. Rog again. He was probably best on in my last vlog, so um, yeah, I'll go to see Rogies and then um, we'll uh, rip, the, rip the lid off a couple. So in Melbourne now, here with C. Rog, and we're just about to go to the Kiss Chrissy party. Get excited, the second of two. How exciting. Two in um, six days. Does that happen anywhere else at any other workplace? Is that overdoing the, uh, the Christmas cheer? Is it overdoing the kidney it's and the liver? <laughs> Yeah, the, li the liver and kidney are, are struggling. But that's okay, we'll push through the pain and um, hopefully we're in for as good a night as, uh, as it was last time. Now we didn't get our uh, gourmet brekkie the day after the night before last week, but we'll make up for it this week. No worries, tomorrow morning I reckon we get our full scrambled eggs, bacon, big brekkie, hashy beef, hashy beef. <laughs> avos, you, you, you name it. We'll get the lot. All Happy right. days. Christmas party. I'm here with Tabitha and we're in the pinball, pinball bus. The pinball bus, bus the party bus. and they've got heaps of machines and um, how'd you go on yours? I got 5 million 370 so I beat you mate. I don't know if that's good. I got 4 million so I'm not very good but you're living your life. I won anyway. That's all right, that's all right. So here I am back in Geelong. Um, yeah, Con and I, we played up a little bit but it uh, yeah, it was a bit of a, more of a quieter night. Uh, we had a lot of fun though at the Kiss Chrissy party, but now I'm down at the soccer deck and uh, me and a few of the boys, we're gonna have a semi-regular traditional soccer clash and it gets very competitive. So we'll see how this hit out, uh, see how it all pans out. Oh, it may just be a bit of a fun kick around, but you gotta warm up, you gotta get the legs, gotta get them lifting. No knees, no arms. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! We can tackle, all right. What are what are honey skips? Oh! Oh! The professional warm up. It's about 56 degrees. I feel like we're in the Sahara Desert. Honey skips, no arms. <laughs> Oh, this is this is VFL professional warming up, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, guys, that's been my week. A um, bit of a shorter week this one because there's been a lot of editing to get the 14 in 14, but um, we're going strong. So I will see you next week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around soon. Cheers.